forces that are at work there. And, and the market is going to go in part to where the cheapest energy is. And when gas prices are low, uh, there's going to be market activity that gravitates towards natural gas. Um, and that's just going to happen. Um, I don't think that's necessarily part of a war on coal as opposed to that's, that's an economic uh, reality. But what, again, what we want to make sure is that as, uh, as one part of the, the energy economy grows, it doesn't mean that entire communities are, are completely left out in the coal. In the coal. And I think there's ways, there's ways uh, to do that. Um, I think a lot of the, the, uh, the rhetoric around the war on coal has been extremely um, simplistic. Um, but I do think that it's, it's incumbent upon the Obama administration or any federal administration to say that there are economic effects of regulation and you need to take those into account. So for the, for the mine workers that have been doing that for a generation, if it affects them economically, then we have to make sure that we have uh, programs and, and investment policies that take that into account, make sure that they have economic alternatives. Any last questions? When, when it comes to the, the research funding that you're talking about, that's supposed to be one of the things that Third Frontier does. Is, is this a problem with what Third Frontier's its, uh, priorities have been? Yes. And, and, go ahead. Yes, because what you had happen, and this was reported at the time, that there had, and I'm glad you brought it up because it hasn't been commented on much recently, is that something changed after Governor Kasich got elected, even with the process of of, uh, of the grants that were given out by Third Frontier. So you had a situation where Third Frontier was denying uh, a wind power project in particular. Uh, the board rejected a proposal uh, that would have had a research component to it. Uh, and they actually overruled their staff. So the staff at Third Frontier said, this investment makes sense, we should do it, it's part of our mission. And the board overruled them and said, no, it doesn't make sense. So I think there's been a, an anti-advanced energy philosophy that's been res that's been reflected in this administration. It goes back to very early comments by Governor Kasich saying that wind power was dumb. I think that's a quote. Uh, and it was and, and when you set that kind of tone early on, um, you see you see a po your own appointees start to reflect that, and I think we've seen that uh, with Third Frontier. And I think it'll make a big difference to have a governor that says uh, that this is actually a wise investment and we want all of the various components of state government, including Third Frontier, um, to reflect those priorities. And there are um, some proposals out there now for a bond issue that uh, are before the Attorney General. Are you ready to endorse any of those or is that something that we should be looking at, a separate bond issue just for that? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't taken a position on that yet. So. Okay, thank you. We're going to end now and we'll pull up any questions afterwards.